Hey everybody, Omar here, your knife of the party guy, and I am back with another fun-filled video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Uh, this one is first production, so that's kind of cool. Uh, as you guys can see, I cut my finger on it. <laughs> Didn't mean to see that on camera, but uh, yeah, I got, got a little nick there. Then again, my skin's real dry, so we're going back to that. But in any case, back to the knife. Uh, this is the Benchmade uh, Mini Bug Out Carbon Fiber. Uh, this knife is probably one of the most long-awaited knives by Benchmade fans. Uh, this knife has been talked about for probably about a year. Uh, and it just, they kept saying it was going to come out, and it never came out, and it wasn't still in stores. People kept asking about it, and here it is finally. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick preview on this. This, the, um, I don't have the specs on this, but the overall length of this knife opened is like about six inches, uh, in length. We have a titanium, black, black wash titanium pocket clip. Uh, we've got a blue uh, backspacer, which really pops nice and goes really well with the thumb studs. Uh, the pocket clip is two-sided. You can have it uh, on this side of the knife or on the other side. There are the three screws right there. Uh, this is a really, really small knife. Uh, the opening and closing of the knife, there's two ways to open and close it. One of them needs actual practice. I'm still trying to get it down. Yeah, I still can't do it as well as I want to. There, see, I'm missing it. Um, the access lock does take skill to open, and there you go, and close. So I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, as you guys know, the access lock is pretty exclusive to Benchmade. What it is basically is it's an Omega spring that is inside the mechanism of the knife and you can actually see the spring in there. Uh, that is all that is opening and closing this knife. Uh, just a spring, but it's a real strong spring. Um, I think the flaw in the access lock is the fact that it's... Um, just a spring inside the pivot and nothing else. I think it works incredibly well for like lightweight knives, very lightweight knives like this. Uh, and like I said, it does take practice to do it. Um, to give you a little better size comparison before I get more into the knife, I can't even open it now. There you go. We're going to go with the more premium uh, Benchmade and probably the best Benchmade ever made, the Benchmade Anthem. Uh, here's a little size comparison for you. I, I brought that knife out also so you guys can see the actual size of it. So it's literally uh, half the size of the Anthem. The Anthem is uh, 3.5 inches and the uh, Benchmade Bug Out is not even a 3 inch blade. It is 2.82 inches in length. So it's a real small knife. For those of you guys that have medium-sized hands, you're not going to have a problem. I can actually get all four fingers on this knife for grip, so that's kind of nice. Uh, it feels a little awkward because your thumb has to sort of slide all the way up to get the full effect of the, uh, the grip on there. But the star of the show on this knife, and this is pretty much what everybody has been waiting for, is the carbon fiber. Now, everybody that has the regular size Benchmade knife, um, they're going to know that... Uh, yeah, they're, they're already going to know what the texture is like on this. This is probably one of the most unique textures of carbon fiber I have ever felt, personally. It's got a really nice grip to it. Uh, because not only can you see the design, but it's almost like you can feel the design on the knife. Um, not a lot can be said about the Benchmade pocket clip, though. It's just your average deep carry black uh, stone wash pocket clip. A lot of people seem to like it. I'm not that crazy about it myself. I do love the way that the, uh, the blue 
thumb studs and the blue backspace or pop. I thought that was a nice aesthetic to put on the knife. Uh, the steel on this guy is S90V steel, and this thing is razor hair popping sharp. Uh, again, this is first production, uh, but yeah, this thing is like real scary sharp. S90V. I, I, I was very, very surprised by how sharp it was. I'm sorry I didn't bring any paper so I could cut with this thing. But, you know, then again, this is just an overall preview so you guys can get an idea. Um, yeah. I don't know how many of these are considered the first production. I think it's a thousand is considered first production, but I'm not sure. Uh, I do love the, uh, how light it is. This thing is, like, super featherweight in, in heaviness. I mean, it's almost, you feel like you're carrying a feather in your hand. That's how, that's how light this thing is. Uh, and as a result, I think it even makes it, makes the, I guess, the centrifugal force of using the access lock, which is supposed to be, like, a normal experience for those of you guys. Uh, now that the knife is now downsized, it's almost like you have to use a little bit more force to open and close it. Uh, it's real awkward. Com but then again, you're talking to someone that owns the Anthem, where this knife to open and close using the access lock, because the spring is on the inside of the knife, uh, it's practically effortless. It's not even the same experience, guys. If you ever get a chance to own one of these, <laughs> you're going to be like, yeah, I don't understand why they didn't get rid of the, uh, the, the Omega spring and just make them all coil springs. But, you know, this is a much more expensive knife and also probably a lot more... Uh, it would probably cost a lot more to uh, produce, which is what probably why it's discontinued. But back to this one. Um, if you guys own the regular size bug out, Benchmade bug out, you will notice a difference uh, in, I guess, heft. I've never owned the regular size Benchmade bug out, but I have uh, had it in my hands for a couple of days. I, I had a friend loan one to me so I could feel it and get a, get a feel for it. And uh, I'm letting you guys know now, when you get this one in your hands, you're, you almost feel like you don't even have a knife in your hand. Because number one, it's incredibly light and just the... <laughs> Yeah, just the force of having to open and close the access lock is a bit of a challenge, even if you're a veteran access lock user, which I'm not. Uh, the knife is uh, almost centered. It's maybe about a hair over to the left. Um, it opens and closes quite challengingly, so... Can't get, but then again, you also have the thumb studs working with you, so that makes it a little bit easier for opening. Uh, you know, and then of course the access lock, you'll have to try and maneuver around that. Uh, not really much to say about this one. The jimping on it I, uh, is, it looks like it's actual jimping, but it's actually non-existent. Because I don't even feel it, because the way that they did the jimping on this, it's not like the jimping is raised above the carbon fiber. It's in alignment with the carbon fiber, which means it's almost like you don't feel it. You can't really use that as jimping as a result, because it's not even rough. You almost don't even feel that it's there. Um, but I can see why it might have been better to uh, have the pocket clip side maybe be titanium instead of all carbon fiber because it's really way, way, way too light. Uh, it's something you'd have to get used to. Uh, but, you know, perfect everyday EDC, yeah, this would definitely hit hit that market, no problem. I do love the open construction. The backspacer uh, doesn't take up a lot uh, of of aesthetic, I guess, on the knife. Um, really nice drop point blade they have on this thing. It's got a good enough of a belly. As you guys can see, I did already use it. Just a touch on the, uh, right there by the, um, by the belly. Uh, it, the thing cuts incredibly well. I can't say that enough. Mm -hmm. 
I do think, and I think I could probably say this much, if you guys own a regular size carbon fiber bug out, the only reason to get this knife is to get it in a smaller size. Because the experience is really not all that much different other than, let's say, the, uh, the <laughs> how light it is. Other than that, you know, there's no real, no real reason to pick up one of these myself. I got one because I wanted a really nice contrast up against the only Benchmade that I own, which is the, uh, the Benchmade Anthem. I may or may not get another pocket clip for this one. I'd love to because... Uh, the pocket clip that came with the Anthem really sucked, so I got Adam Purvis to make me a, uh, a, uh, a Tamascus pocket clip, and that's, that satisfied me, uh, and fits, fits the bill perfectly, so. There is nothing else to do in this preview. I'm probably gonna wind up using this knife and really giving you guys more of a, a better preview on this. Um, you know, better, more, um, more information on this knife as I use it, because I am going to be using this one. Uh, other than that, I guess you could call this more of an unboxing than anything else. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a really small, unique size knife, I think the Benchmade Mini Bug Out will fit you, uh, fit your need just perfect. Uh, you know, you can pretty much carry it anywhere, and no one's gonna, you know, it's, it's, it's a good size to just have for everyday use. It's not at all intimidating. Um, probably the only thing I want to complain aesthetically is, how about all the screws on there? That's a little bit... Uh, annoying to see a screw there or there or there or there. I don't know, maybe they could have done something a little bit to showcase the carbon fiber without all the uh, aesthetic interruptions, I guess. Other than that, it's a great little EDC. It does cut well. I don't think you could use this. I mean, I think you could probably even use it for maybe heavy duty up to a certain point. Uh, you know, some medium size heavy cardboard boxes. Uh, but nothing, you know, you know, nothing overly, uh, you know, nothing overly hard to use for hard use, I don't think. So, something to think about. Uh, I do like the fact they have a lanyard hole on there, even though I don't use the lanyard. Um, but overall, yeah. It's a really great little EDC, and it will fit your needs perfect. So that is it for just this video. I'm going to do more on this knife as I use it. Uh, but for now, this is Omar, your Knife of the Party guy, signing off, hoping you'll find the Benchmade Mini Bug Out in your collection someday. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more information on this knife as I use it. Thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a fantastic Saturday afternoon.